out They screaming peace when there ain't no peace Israel prophesying in the streets Look at me, the center of attention Black Messiah coming with a vision Coming with a vision Black Messiah coming with a vision They screaming peace, it ain't no peace We prophesying in the streets We seeking peace in the streets of Babylon Brandison, Glock, Ford is tucking heat like a carry on Sending the gifts the fathers got me sleeping, not napping on Christ the King revealed, that's Ariel phenomenon Kick it against the priest, lose your soul when that fire come We purified, better than gold, got my Bible on And that's all that I know, where Babylon Don't fall, watch it blow, ayy Switching it up, the nation's gon' drink it, I'm talking the cup Don't care what you thinking, believe in the gospel, the God is stinking The fires of heaven gon' gather for dinner, the eel of the flesh The wicked, the sinner, your mama, your sister, your daddy, your cousin If they is, if they mind, they don't repent they Do you know anybody? You know anybody that was considered perfect in the Bible? No, I can't. You can't? Okay, give me Job. Give me Job 1-1. One, one. I'll be come back, Officer, in the field. I just want to bring out, because um, he brought up a point about being perfect. And we want to show you, because a lot of times people say, well, Jesus, he was the only one that was perfect. Y'all heard that before, right? Read that. Job chapter 1, verse 1. There was a man in the land of us whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and eschewed evil. So they said Job was perfect. He eschewed, he, he feared God and eschewed evil. And that's what we got to get to the point to where we hate evil. What we want to do, we want to learn to keep God's commandments. That's the opposite of um, evil is keeping God's commandments. Y'all, you understand that, right? Okay. Okay. So what what you got to do when you say read that again? Job chapter one verse one. There was a man in the land of us whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and eschewed evil. So eschewed evil, he stayed away from it. So, now we was talking, now you eat, you eat pork? Yeah. You eat pork, so how does God feel about us eating pork? Cause, cause I, I wanna show y'all something, cause if, if God said that's breaking the commandment, that means that's evil, right? So if I'm eating shrimp, a shrimp sandwich, shrimp salad, what is that? That's breaking the commandments. I'm not supposed to be doing that. You understand that? What do you have on it for you? Read that. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So it make it make the people that simple make you wise. It makes you wise. That way you can understand how to keep God's laws. Go to Leviticus chapter 11. I want to read verse 6 too. Because I, I grew up in a uh, small town called um, Columbia. Down down south of, of Jackson. And we used to hunt rabbits. Right. You ever eat a rabbit? You, have you? Read that. Verse 6. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 6. Bring it up. And the hare, because he cheweth the cud, but divided not the hoof. So a hare, he chewed a cud. You see a hare, he's sitting there, he chewing the cud, but it said divide him not the hoof. Meaning his feet ain't like a cow's feet, ain't like a right. sheep's feet. His feet look like dog feet. Right. Look just like a dog. Read. He is unclean to you. So the Bible said he unclean to us. So they got this place in my hometown that's called Southern Fried Rabbit. So they made it uh, available readily available for us to eat. Even when we stop killing it ourselves, they make it available for you to eat right now. You understand what I'm saying? So they trying to keep us in what? In what break, what's breaking God's law? Yeah, what's the word for breaking God's law? When you break God's laws, you do what? Give me that first John 3 and 4. I'm gonna show you, we're gonna explain it to you, brother. When you break God's laws, you do what? Read it. First John chapter 3 verse 4 Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law For sin is the transgression of the law So the transgress means to break So if you eat shrimp, you doing what? You breaking God's law So they got us in sin by selling us rabbits You understand what I'm saying? You understand that brother? Okay, uh, go to verse 27 Leviticus um, 11, 27 Leviticus chapter 11 verse 27 and whatsoever goeth upon his paws 
among all manner of beasts. So it said, what, whatsoever go up on his paws. Now, they got this um, game coming up here in Charlotte. It's called the Super Bowl. Ain't Super Bowl finna hit? February the 6th. So when people get together to watch the Super Bowl, what kind of foods they gonna be having? They gonna have some everything. I know growing up, what we would have, we would have a, a raccoon. A raccoon. So listen to these words describing what you cannot eat. Read that. And whatsoever goeth upon his paws among all manner of beasts. So does a raccoon have a paw? He got a paw in it. He got a real paw. He do. He read. That go on all four. Those are unclean to you. So the Bible said that's unclean to us. So when we eat these unclean food, brother, how many people you know done had a heart attack? Uh, uh huh. A whole bunch of. A whole bunch of. What about cancer? A whole bunch of. And, and, and who did that usually happen to? It happened to us. You understand what I'm saying? What about heart disease? Gout. You understand that? This is all happening to us. So it's upon us to turn away from these things and come back to God's law. That's why it's very important for us to come back to God's laws. You understand that? Okay, I'm gonna show you some uh, like um what today? Today's what today is Saturday. What is it in particular uh to God? Like what what day should we go to church on? Because they told us Sunday, right? So today is the Sabbath day. So what day we should go to church on? What'd you say? He said Sunday. Alright, give me um Genesis 2 and 1. Start at verse 1. I just want to show you something real fast. I want to show you this, cause hey, you got a phone on you. No. You don't have a phone, okay? Um, you got one on you, don't you? Okay. All right, we'll we'll we'll, we'll figure it out. Read that. I got mine. Genesis chapter two, verse one. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, on the seventh day of the week, God ended His work which He had made, and He rested on the seventh day. So He rested on the seventh day. Read. From all his work which he had made, and God blessed the seventh day. So God not only rested on the seventh day, he blessed the seventh day. Right. Say it again, what'd you say? You said the seventh day Sunday, we're gonna keep reading, read. And sanctified it. So he blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. He set that day apart from all other days, ain't it? So let's see what the seventh day is. I want to, he got a calendar right there. And I want you to look, tell me what the first day is. It's a, it's the first day. What is it? What, what is, what is the, the um, name of that day? Come, come on, talk to me, brother. Come on, talk to me. Hey, you got a lot of knowledge over there. Come on, brother. Come on, talk to me. Hey, listen, by the way, Sunday is the what? Sunday is the what? No, it ain't Monday. It's not. It's not Monday. What's the first? What's the first letter up there? Is the S? No. What's the? What's that first one? Is it the S? S. That S is what? No. The S on the end after Friday is Saturday. So Sunday, then it's the M, ain't it? So, so what's the first day? Saturday, Saturday was celebrate God. You're right, brother. You're right. Why, hey, listen, we're gonna read it in the Bible, okay? So this the first day is, is Sunday and the seventh day is Saturday. That's today. What was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Then after class, yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. That's the day. We're going to read this again. Read it again. Genesis chapter 2, verse 2. And on the seventh day. On the seventh day, which is Saturday, brother with the hat on. Brother with the hat on the blue cup. Come talk to me. Read. God ended his work which he had made, and, and he rested on the seventh day. So God rested on the seventh day, which is? The day. Which is? Sunday. 
Today ain't Sunday. No, I know today's Saturday. Today's, today's Saturday. Saturday. That's the seventh day of the week. Oh, that's the seventh day. Even okay. in in um in um in the Mexican language, okay, okay, we they they say Sabado, which is right. which is the seventh day, which is the Saturday. Sabbath day, right. which is Saturday. Okay. Right. Got it. Read. He, and he rested on the seventh day. From, so he rested on the seventh day. Read from all his work which he had made, and God blessed the seventh day. So God blessed. The seventh day. That's today. Okay, Read. And sanctified it. He, he sanctified it. Meaning he set that day apart from all the other days. So you're starting to understand how important it is for us to keep the Sabbath day. Read. Because that in it he rested from all his work which God created and made. So he rested. So when those people got us going to church on Sunday and we out here shopping on Saturday, what they... what. What's the word that we just went over that they have us in? If we breaking God's Sabbath day, we are in we breaking the law. That's called sin. Sin. They got us out here sinning, breaking God's laws by buying and shopping on the Sabbath day. Because we're not supposed to do that. The Bible said we should rest. Go to Leviticus 23. I'm going to show you what else we're supposed to do on the Sabbath day. Because we can't just sit in our house. Right. We're supposed to be around some type of people. What kind of people are we supposed to be around? Yes, sir. Here you go. Here you go, officer. Read it. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel. So, who are we? We are the children of what? Israel, right? Read. And say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, uh -huh. which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations. Holy convocation. What that means is we're supposed to gather together. That's right. Holy convocation. That's why. That's why. That's why they would always tell you um, go to church, right? Because they want to gather together. But they got you going to church on a Sunday and uh, eating pork chops afterwards. Right. Right. They, they got the wrong day. Right. Keep reading. Even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. So the seventh day, that's where we're supposed to go is the Sabbath day, the seventh day of the week. You, you understand that? So we've been taught wrong all our life, and now now coming into this knowledge, we got to do something. We got to make a move. We can't just sit still with just this knowledge. We, what we got to do is use it. You understand what I'm saying? So now that I know that I'm not supposed to be eating certain food, guess what I don't do? Okay, now that I know that I'm, today is the Sabbath day, what I'm supposed to do? Don't break the law. Don't break the law. So... What 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 you supposed to do on the Sabbath day now? Sixteen uh, X sixteen twenty three. You supposed to gather together. Right. It's, okay, we're gonna talk about the Sabbath day a little bit more, so you know that we are uh, we supposed to gather on the Sabbath day. Read Exodus chapter sixteen verse twenty three, and he said unto them, This is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So it's showing that, like, he talking from a Friday standpoint. Said tomorrow is going to be Saturday. That's the Lord's Holy Sabbath. Guess what we got to do? Read. Unto the Lord, bake that which ye shall bake today. So on Friday before the sun go down, we got to bake whatever it is we're going to bake. Meaning we got to cook whatever we're going to eat. On, we cook that on Friday. That's right. Get that out the way. Read. And see that ye will see. Seed means to kind of boil, to boil whatever you're going to, so you bake it or boil it or fry whatever it is you're going to do. Be done on Friday. Get that done on Friday, read. And that which remaineth over, lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So whatever left over from that you cook Friday, guess when you eat that? Saturday, that's right, you eat that on the Saturday, and that's because we can't cook on the Sabbath day. So we know we got to come together. We can't cook on the Sabbath day. We read in uh, Exodus, I mean uh, um, Genesis two, that we can't work on the Sabbath day. Right. So we can't work, we can't cook, and we gotta congregate. Right. You understand that? Give me, uh, Exodus 30, uh, 35 and three. I'm gonna show you that now. I need to explain some stuff also. Come on over, talk to me, brother. You ain't gotta be scared. Exodus chapter thirty five and verse three. You can talk to me, man. We we hey we. We love you over here, brother. We want to get you up out of this captivity. We want to up out of this captivity. Right. We want to get your mind right so you come back and serve the Most High God. Right. Read that. Exodus chapter 35, verse 3. Ye shall kindle no fire 
throughout your habitations upon, what? upon the Sabbath day. So on the Sabbath day, we ain't killing no fowl to cook. Right. You understand that? Now, I, I know you was over there listening. So you know we ain't supposed to buy and sell on the Sabbath day. What you supposed to do? You supposed to be serving God. Serving God. You supposed to be serving God. You were giving all the prayer. You don't need to be working. I know. What? Man, got us doing. What about buying stuff on the Sabbath day? You don't need to be doing nothing. You were just, 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 just serving God and praying to you. Right. So, do, so you need to, you need to be around people that's got that same mindset as you, also, right? So that's called a holy convocation. Yes, sir. Hey, we, we appreciate you, brother. Listen. Right, right. Well, you, you know what? You say you say you say you gotta go get your grandson. What y'all? What y'all? I gotta go and meet. I gotta go and pick him up. So when you pick him up, what you gonna do? I'm gonna take him home. He lives with me. He lives with you. So 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 you know you can you can bring him to our church, right? Yeah, we got church today at two o'clock, right now. The the address is on the back of that flyer right there. Okay. I, I, look, I, 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 it might not be today, but I'll come and see y'all. Can I read the scripture to you? Well, go ahead. It was Psalms 119 verse 9, I think. All praise. Psalm 119 verse 9. This go to you too, brother. What you got in that cup, man? 59, 50, 59. 59. What, what you got in that cup? Little beer. Little beer? Yeah. When you, you, you done bought that beer today? I know what they did. I know what they So what we gonna do? What we gonna do? Read that. Psalm chapter 119, verse 59. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. Okay, I'm I'm uh, I'm an older man. I know you're an older man. When when your mama you 60, all praises. I'm, I'm 40, 47, I think. Someone in that area. <laughs> but anyway, when, when somebody told you, when somebody said, hey, man, I need you to go get that, make haste. What does that mean? Yeah. That means go and get it. They said, make haste. Yeah. What, does, what does that mean, though? What does that word make haste mean? You got to you gotta hurry up. Read the script again. This is what you got to do. This is what you got to do. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. That's what we got to do. We got to make haste and delay now. Don't delay it. Don't put it off. Right. You got to do it now. Right. We don't know when the ball's going to drop. Right. Right. Hey, hey, you come on over here, sit. You come on over if you want to talk to us. So we got to hurry up. We can't We can't wait because we don't know what might happen. Right. We don't know. And as far as your son goes, uh, give me uh, verse 9. Your uh, grandson. Read this. Because see, what the world is teaching your grandson. They teach them to break God's commandments, to be in sin, to do all these things. Read this. Psalm chapter 119, verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? It said, the Bible said, how can a young man cleanse his way? That's why you, it's very important that you bring him to the school. Because he can learn these laws that's going to help cleanse his way. Read that again. Where, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Uh -huh. By taking heed thereto. According to thy word. We got to take heed to the commandments. That's what's going to clean Jackson up. That's what's going to clean each and every one of us up. That's what's going to clean our community up. You understand? We got to take heed to God's word. Now, that we, we understand that, um, okay, if we just hear it and get this knowledge, but we got to be able to perform these actions. Read it again. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. That's what we got to do. We got to take heed and make haste to do these things. Right. And I know, I understand, I, listen, I know how it feels to know something. But for you to actually to, to do it, that's a whole different ball game. And that's the point to where we got to get to where we actually keeping God's law. Like the brother said, he know he ain't supposed to be um, buying no beer on the Sabbath day. But guess who he feared more than God? His, whatever he wanted to do. Whatever it is he wanted to do, he went on ahead and did it because he didn't believe that God was going to hurt him for it. You understand that? And that's the point we got to get to, to where we fear God and understand that. Give me that now, Hebrew 5, God, I'm going to you know what I'm saying? No, um, read that, give me that. I, I'm going to show you something else too, brother. Uh, I, I know you got to go, I know you got to go. Read that. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall 
fall into the hands of the living God. So it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living, living God. So what we don't want to do, we don't want to break his commandments. Because right. that's death. And we don't want that. Right. So by you actually knowing, you held to a higher responsibility now. What you got to do is make it up in your mind say, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep God's commandment because I don't want to do what? It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. I don't want that. I don't want to fall. Yeah, you don't want that. Right. So what you got to do to keep from that? So what you got to do today when you go pick up your grandson? I'm going to take him home today. You going to take him home, then what you got to do? I, I, I'm going to be at home. So you ain't, you ain't going to congregate? No, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest with you. Okay, I, okay. I, All right. I, I, ain't nothing wrong with honest. I'll come, I come another day, but I ain't, it won't be the day, though. Okay, understood. Um, the, Now, you know, you got a YouTube? Yeah, I got all that. Okay, we can watch this online. You can watch this online. You can, you can pull it up. You can sit him right beside you and watch it online. And make sure that y'all get this commandment in you, cause you gotta feed yourself that. You go, you go there and you watching um, John Wayne. Guess what you gonna be thinking about? You, you don't watch John Wayne? Okay, all right. Well, uh, uh, Bonanza with old house. Don't none of that, none of that. So now you, now you got something that you can watch on your TV. So the TV won't be up there blank. You can turn. We got this thing called IURC TV. That's right. 24/7. You can watch. You can watch us teaching 24/7, right. bringing out the word of God right. all the time. That plan in your house, your son, go, your grandson will get it. Right. If not, he gonna be in that room on that phone watching uh, TikTok. Right. I got you. you understand? You know what TikTok is? A uh, Facebook. Yeah. You, you understand what I'm saying? All, all that what? Garbage. Garbage. That's exactly right, brother. Right. That's exactly right. I don't do that all that I don't even into that. Right, right. So now, so now you can watch this, and then maybe when you get a little bit more built up, you'll be able to come to the school. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.